everyone. Today I will be showing to you the procedure or the different steps on making a corn coffee powder. So these are the ingredients and also the tools that we will be needing in making the powder. Of course, we will be needing an, a stove or, you know, as you can see I am using here an electric stove and of course a Dutch oven or it's simply a pot. Okay, so also corn grits, a very fine corn grits where you can buy locally, it is locally available in different supermarkets and, and also as you can see I have a baking pan here as well as wooden ladle, of course a spoon, a sifter, a kid sifter, <laughs> and of course the um, spice grinder and my plate. Okay. okay, so our first step is of course I have to set my stove into a low temperature, at least into at least 70 degrees. And I will pour all my corn grits into here. You know. So we will be roasting this until it becomes dark. Not 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 the one that very burnt, but at least burnt enough to so that we can be we we will be able to grind it using our spice grinder. As you can see, it is slightly turning into brown. Take a look. So as you can see, our corn grits is turning into a brown color. And I've been roasting this for about 10 minutes already so we just have to roast it a little bit more okay so as you can see okay I will let you see our corn grits is slowly turning into a black color and our goal is to make all of these corn grits into you know into a dark color like this one but of course this is not the literary burnt corn grits but this is the perfectly roasted corn grits that we want to achieve so that we will be able to grind it into our spice grinder okay so this is oh my this is the color or the burnt roasted burnt of the corn grits that we are trying to achieve as you can see it is perfectly dark we just have to pull it down we will be using again our baking tin of course so, and I just have to pour this here slowly of course as you can see it is very hot oh my god Okay, so here is our roasted corn grits. So we just have to cool it down for at least 5 to 10 minutes before we can grind it with our spice grinder. Okay, so as you can see, our roasted corn grits is already cooled and it is now ready to be grind in our spice grinder so I will just have to put ample amount in here okay some more mm -hmm. as much as I want it to 
be fully filled but it is important that we leave um, enough space so that it can circulate and now I am closing this seal so that you know it will not explode <laughs> sift it so that we can separate the remnants from the fine powder. Okay, so I will just pour small amount into this tiny little sifter and now we'll be sifting. Wow! Oh my god, this is perfect. Do you see that? Okay, do you see that? How fine the coffee powder is? Alright, so that's it. This is my final product, the corn coffee powder. Thank you and good luck.